Stoneworms Tech Channel here, and today I'm doing a video about AT&T. So I'm on FernandMinute.com, and so it says here AT&T to bring back HBO Max to its wireless plan. So if you guys don't know, AT&T dropped the HBO Max offering from its plans probably like a month or two ago, and now they're gonna be bringing it back. I'm not sure when they're gonna bring it back. So if you guys are on AT&T and you guys want HBO Max, you guys should check this out. Um, so let's go and check this out. Anyone here? Uh, so it says here AT&T quietly removed the HBO Max free offering along with the unlimited elite plan back in June, probably due to financial reasons. Cause, uh, cause you guys know that AT&T has been raising prices, so have the Verizon. That's probably why the uh. AT&T got rid of the HBO Max free offering because there was like raising prices and stuff like that. So, yeah. So I said, however, it looks like the carrier has reached a new agreement with Warner Brothers Discovery for the distribution of HBO Max once again. So, oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, so I said, the new agreement replaces the earlier one that offering HBO Max to AT&T internet customers but that's just about all the information that the carrier revealed today this is as of uh... today is August 5th this was August 4th when this article got published um... an AT&T official states that th this adjusted agreement represents an important step in positioning both AT&T and Warner Brothers Discovery for continued success, end quote. Says the announcement doesn't specify when AT&T would bring back the HBO Max free offering to its wireless plans or home internet options. It's also unclear which version of the HBO Max plan will be offered by the carrier. Probably the ad, probably the ad supported version, which is 10 bucks a month. So, launched in the United States about two years ago, HBO Max is now available in 61 countries earlier today. This is as of August 4th, this our article was posted on August 4th. It says the company announced that HBO Max and Discovery Plus will be merged in the U.S. sometime next summer. So, uh, that would be pretty interesting to stay tuned for that. So, uh... Yeah, I guess so if you guys are on AT&T or in the, and you guys like HBO Max, uh, AT&T is bringing back HBO Max offering to its wireless plans. I'm not sure when they're going to do it. I'm not sure what tier that they're going to be offering. Probably the ad supported tier, which is ten dollars, and they also have, have an ad free tier, which is fifteen bucks a month for HBO Max. So I'm not sure which one they're going to uh, be offering. Probably the ad supported version, like I said. So not bad. You know, not bad for a free offering of HBO Max with it, um, with it, uh, with uh, HBO Max is pretty cool. Um, I tried it out for a month and it was pretty cool. So, um, yeah. So, good job at and for that. And I'm sure that a lot of customers are probably happy about this as well. Um, so, good news from at and there. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. If it helps me out a lot, please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.